Hi, you guys. Welcome to our California farm. It has been a while since I posted a long comprehensive video on our channel. And that's because that all the projects that we're doing currently on the farm are big comprehensive projects. And it takes a while to film the whole story about them from beginning to the end. Now, this video I filmed uh, during the course of several months. And today we are going to be talking about water collection. Sustainability is very important for us as a farm. And it's very important, I think, in general in California because of the climate that we have here. Now, here in Paso Robles on the central coast of California, we have Mediterranean climate. If you live in Europe and if you travel to Greece, this is pretty much what we have. We have hot, dry, sunny summers, and we should have some rain in the winter. Now, think about it this way. Uh, Paso Robles has about, on average, 18 inches of precipitation per year versus almost 40 inches of precipitation for the rest of the United States. We only have 46 days on average of precipitation per year versus 102 on average for the United States. It's a great climate for traveling because there's always sunny, nice weather, but not so good for farming. You need a lot of water here. Now, California is also a very controlling state. The government tells you what you can and cannot do. And even though we are not on the city water grid, we have our own well here that you can see behind me. Still, the government tells you how much water you can take from your own well. And if you take more than your yearly allowance, there's a lot of paperwork, you need permits, and it's a huge headache. So to avoid that, you need to collect your own rainwater. And really, I mean, it's, it's just a prudent thing to do anyway, because you don't want to, this rainwater to go to waste. Now, again, um, this is California. It tells you how much you can collect rainwater and how you can do it. So the only way you can collect rainwater in California is from the roofs of your structures, your house, your barn, a shed, any sort of structure. And that's it. That's the only rainwater you can collect. Now, for now here, we have two main structures, the house and a little shed where we have our tools. In the future, we also want to build a barn and a small store where you can come and buy our products. So there'll be four buildings, hopefully, from which we can collect water. For now, we were able to build a water collection system from our main house. And it was easy, more or less, to do that because we already have part of the system installed. We have the gutters around the house, and then we have pipes that drain the water underground and just disperse it under there. So what we needed to do is to find those pipes underground and connect them to extra pipes that would lead to our water collection tanks over here. This, we have two tanks on this side of the house and two tanks on the other side of the house. And once we were able to do that, uh, our main task was to check the whole system. So we connected new pipes to old pipes, make sure there are no leaks, and that the water actually flows from the roof to the tanks successfully. Now, the funny thing is that the most difficult part was to find those old pipes, where they would go under the ground and where they ended. Where is the end of the pipe where we connect, can connect new pipes and then get the water to the tanks. Honestly, it took my husband the whole summer digging around the house to figure out which way the pipes are going and where they're ending. And once he found that, the actual um, connection and, and, and building process of the, and the new system, additional system, was not that difficult. So let me show you what we've done so far and then um, I'll do the updated video once we have the complete water collection system installed, once we have all other buildings on site. So today is a very exciting day. We finished one part of our water system to collect rainwater to make this farm sustainable. So as you can see here, this 
are the new um, pipes that connect to the old system that collect water from each corner of the house on this side. And so now these new pipes go to the two big five thousand gallon tanks. Now they're still white and beautiful and they look like the work of art. So we are going to make a test today to see if the system is working. We'll just um, get some water from the well because there's no rain right now and see if it gets into these two storage tanks. Let's give it a try. Do you hear the water flowing down the pipes? Let's follow the water. Here's another connection that will go to the new barn that we're gonna build. And over here, there is a very interesting part. Here you can collect debris that come from the roof, and maybe, you know, leaves, little sticks and things like that. But the water, the precious water is going to be going into the tank. And here is the reason why we're doing this test, is to see if there are any faults in the system. And as you can see here, we'll need to tighten the cap a little better because there are little leaks over here. And now do you hear this? It's finally reached the tank. This is music to my ears. We'll see how much rainwater we'll be able to collect this winter. And here's another test we are doing on the other side of the house. We put water into the pipe, as you can see over here, and the water stays at the same level, which means the pipes are tight. There are no leaks. And this is great news because we are connecting the new pipes to the storage tanks and to the old water system that already existed here. And the house is 30 years old, so you can see that we are very happy that we don't have to change the whole system. So this system of water collection is called wet system because as you can see the water will be in the pipes all the time and it works according to the laws of gravity because the house is located on a hill at a higher level than uh, the water tanks on both sides of the house and you can do it here easily because Paso Robles has lots of hills. The other system you can use is what is called dry system where you would have a small tank right under the roof and the water will flow into the tank only when it rains and that's why it's called dry system. Now of course the tank that you can put under the roof over here will be much smaller than the big water tanks you can put elsewhere and therefore we are able to collect much more water. So this system is ready to go when it starts rain here in winter. We also had to make sure that our water storage tanks are higher in elevation than uh, those areas of the land that we're going to water with the water from them. I don't know if you can see that from here, but our garden patch is a little lower in elevation than the tanks. So it will be very easy for us to water the garden from these tanks, but it takes a lot of calculating so that the tanks are somewhat in the middle, lower than the house, but higher than the garden. Well, let's see if you can hear this. Maybe you should put your sound on maximum right now to be able to hear the difference in sounds. So right here is a very dull sound. The water is there. And here's more shallow sound. So we don't have water here yet. So let's see where we find our borderline. Still shallow at three southern gallons. Let's start here. And it's dull here. So I believe our water level right now is roughly between 2,500 and 3,000 gallons. And that's the collection that we had uh, from the three rain systems, which is perfect. I'm finishing to film this video in the middle of January. So far, we got about eight inches of rain this year here in Paso Robles. Uh, last year, we got nine inches overall. So we're still hopeful 
for January and February. That said, this is La Niña year, or the girl in, in Spanish, which means dry winters. Now, when we have El Niño, or the boy, we have wet winters over here. Now, we have three boys on the farm and one girl, which is me, and I really hope that God would give everybody as much water as you have population on the farm. I would really hope we'd have three rainy years and only one dry year. Unfortunately, God doesn't work this way. So we have to collect any rainwater we can get. Doesn't matter, El Nino, La Nina. So now that we have these tanks over here, that's what we plan to do. And hopefully we'll have enough water for all the planting needs in the end. We have a garden on the other side of the house and we are building a um, greenhouse. And that will be my next big video about building a greenhouse on your own. And we are planting some fruit trees down this slope, which would be easy to uh, water from these tanks again, because that's how gravity works. So that's uh, the end of this big project so far. Stay tuned. As I said, our next big project is building a greenhouse and um, I hope to uh, show you the final video in about a month or so. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and have a great winter. Bye.